Hello and welcome to the AWS Ninja. This short video will describe a few ways for you to limit traffic uh, into your application. Now, some use cases, in some use cases, you might want to limit countries from accessing your application. It might be a media rights thing, or it might be a political climate thing. In any case, if you are already using CloudFront as your front uh, facing uh, uh, service as a CDN, you might as well use geo restrictions uh, in one of the ways I'm going to describe. <clears throat> now, you can configure CloudFront if you if you're not already using CloudFront, you can configure it as your reverse proxy layer on top of your application. I won't cover it on this video, but basically all you have to do is just configure a, dist a new distribution, point it at your actual application, where regardless of where it's hosted. Typically, you want to start with caching disabled, just so you have like pure reverse proxy, uh, and then change the DNS name for your application to point to point at the CloudFront distribution. But in this case, I'm already assuming you have a CloudFront distribution up and running on top of your application. And one of the uh, configurations that you can add to your CloudFront distribution is a list of geographic restrictions. Now you can go uh, in one of two ways, you can obviously set no restrictions, which is the default. You can have a list of allowed countries or a list of blocked countries. And when you configure allowed countries, anything which is outside of this list will get blocked with a 403 error message. And anything uh, which is inside the block list, if you use a block list, will be blocked again with a 403 uh, error message. Um, there is no way to customize the error message. It's just a, bla a black on white kind of a simple error message, but you can use CloudFront's custom error pages to catch these 403 error messages and then return something else. You can return any other error code or just a 200 okay. And you can even specify where you wanna send uh, the error page to, and this would typically be hosted on S3 or something like that. So you just catch the uh, uh, 403 error message and then you customize it with something else. Um, no, no redirects are uh, available here. Um, you can only use like a 200 or another error message. That's a one very simple way, straightforward, uh, in order to limit access to your application. In my case, the only allowed country is Christmas Islands. Uh, let's, let's cancel that. Uh, this is kind of coarse grain. So you can control specific regions. You can, speci you can control access to specific URIs in your application, like only the sign up page or the money transfer page or the payment page or the login page. It's for everything. Uh, if you want a finer grain of control over what is allowed or disallowed from which countries, you probably want to use one of the other two methodologies. So one methodology to do that is through the use of CloudFront functions. So CloudFront functions uh, are uh, tiny piece of, pieces of code that you can use to change the behaviors uh, in the request or response levels. They're super high scale, super fast, but they are pretty basic. You can't run anything that takes more than one millisecond if you opt with CloudFront functions. But this simple example, and I'll throw the link into the description uh, below, uh, will allow you to control uh, what happens to specific countries when they hit your application. So you can match specific country codes and then send out a redirect or whatever, right? You, you can do pretty much whatever you want through these functions. The one thing you have to pay attention to is that you have to add the CloudFront viewer country at the very least uh, on the viewer request policy on your distribution. So I'll show you in a minute where, where that lies, but you can also add more fields and have the, your custom code refer to those fields. So you can have specific cities or zip codes or regions, you can be more specific than just countries, and you can do like a, a composite rule here. You can create whatever if uh, else statements that you want in code. It's basically just JavaScript. Uh, and then you can just match specific URLs and spe send specific responses back. The way where you include the CloudFront viewer country header 
so the function can refer to it is on the behavior side. So if I go to behaviors, you'll see that I can add like an origin request policy. You probably want to add a new one that includes uh, the geolocation uh, headers. So if you create a policy, you'll be taken to the policy creation name and then you can add all of the headers that the user sent plus a bunch of CloudFront headers such as uh, the country, the region, the city, whatever, you know, whatever you need in order to make your business decisions for geo control. So that's that's a code heavy approach, but it's super flexible. So we have one approach with which is the geo restriction on the CloudFront distribution level, which are coarse, coarse grain. We have this super fine grain uh, uh, CloudFront function capability. And up there in the middle, if you're using CloudFront already, you might as well just throw a layer of AWS WAF on it and have a better control over what uh, is allowed from which countries. Uh, so in order to do that, I'll switch over to AWS WAF. I already deployed WAF on my distribution. I already have a running web ACL with no rules in it currently, and it's already associated with my distribution. So these are all steps you need to take in order to make WAF work. As for the rules, you can make them as simple or as complicated as you want. So you can add your own rules saying block Christmas Islands, and you can just say uh, if the country was Christmas Islands, block, right? Or you can do uh, you can do it the other way around. You can create a not statement and say if the country is not Christmas Island, then block. So again, a positive or a negative model for your protection. Um, there are a few other things you can do though. You can use a captcha to make sure that you don't allow any bots or any non-human traffic uh, to hit your application from said countries. Um, so you can create a composite policy that says from anywhere in the world, you can just allow. But if it comes from Christmas Islands, I want to challenge it with a capture. Uh, that's one option. You can also use um, a custom if you if you choose to block, you can choose to customize the response completely. So you can say, if traffic is coming from Christmas Island, I would like to respond with a 302 and send the user to another location. So I'll just specify the header. Uh, send them over to YouTube to watch some videos. So you can you can really customize what you do when traffic is coming from these countries, or you can just, you can choose to block and that would give them a, a, a 403. Other things you can do with custom rules, you can rate limit countries. So instead of blocking, I would like to rate limit the Christmas Islands. And then I would have to choose a rate based rule. I would set the threshold at how many requests I'm willing to get from that country per IP, per IP from that country. And then what would happen if the threshold is crossed. Do I block it? Do I challenge it? Or do I just flag it with a count? So you can create uh, uh, matches or rate-based matches, however, however you want. The final thing you can do with AWS WAF, and this is super flexible, you can have composite statements that says, and. So I can say that if the country is or isn't a specific uh, a type of country, and the user is trying to get to a specific path, let's say login, only then do I want to challenge them or only then do I want to block them. So this can really fine grain control what is allowed and what is disallowed from specific countries. So <clears throat> to summarize, three ways to control geo, you know, specific geographies on your way on the way into your application one is the ge geographic restrictions on the cloudfront level the other is using cloudfront functions that i'll share the link to and the third option is aws WAF. especially this is applicable if you already use aws WAF. just add country based rules and you know customize to whom they apply and what are the responses or the behaviors that you want for each of these countries
I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.